Hi, welcome to God Thoughts. My name is Tamara, and I was going to share some some thoughts with you um, to start off with uh, some thoughts that I had, uh, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, we are just drawing at straws and trying to lean into our own understanding in this world called Earth when trying to decide what what is best for our lives. It's all just wood, hay, and stubble that will be burnt up in the fire of trials in our lives. Choose to pray to God. Lean into your own, lean into His knowledge and wisdom, our Creator and Sustainer of life. So I thought I'd share that with you. And then also I had a vision, um, and this vision, and it's portrayed here in this in this drawing right here. And the date of the drawing, the sketch, was actually January 2nd of 2020. And um, so here's the vision. So that's the reason why I um, went back um, to share these thoughts with you. Um, so in this vision, I had, um, I saw myself spinning, I was spinning, I was laying on my back and I was spinning and, and there was this, in, underneath me was a whirlwind storm and above the clouds uh, were the heavens and it literally, um, my person was spinning in one direction and then there was this whirlwind or, or tunnel of like a whirlwind or tornado tunnel and in that tunnel it was trying to draw me into the tunnel and then there was these blades underneath that were spinning and so this the little whirlwind was happening uh, within this tunnel and it was trying to pull me into it and the whirlwind was spinning say counter or spinning um, clockwise and it's like the Lord was spinning me personally counterclockwise to keep me above it and to keep me from being drawn into the blades. And so what God revealed to me in that is that, you know, that God, um, he's protecting his children, you know, during these times of there's, you know, these storms and tornadoes and whirlwinds that are happening you know, if we're focused on Him and focused on heaven above, um, He will protect us and He will keep us from being drawn into that tunnel and from being hurt. And so, um, so we're to keep our eyes on Him. And so, um, I wanted to share um, some verses with you that uh, I had drawn up on a sheet some time ago and this one here is um, I titled it God wants to do a good work in you and he will he will complete it in you what he has started so um, the first verse that I have shared here is being confident of this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ Philippians 1 verse 6 and we know all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son and he that he might be the firstborn among many brethren moreover whom he did predestinate them he also called them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say, that, say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? So that's Romans 8, 28 through 31. And then just a note, we know God is at work in our lives because he says so, and God wants to do a work in, in your life where you work for others, where, you know, he wants to do a work in our lives that 
works for others and projecting what God is doing in our lives, right? And so then um, Deuteronomy 6, 5 says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And, uh, you know, you need to, we all need to find a way to do that. I, I was at a point one time in my life where I realized I was not doing that. And I didn't understand that in the Ten Commandments in the New Testament, it it states, you know, that we are to seek the Lord with all our heart, all our might, all our, all our soul. And that it was, you know, the first commandment in the New Testament. And it's like, I just started thinking, you know, if that's the first commandment, that's the most important. And so if we were to do that, if all of us to do that, then then the other commandments that are beneath that they just follow suit because if you're if you're seeking the lord with your whole heart your whole mind your whole soul you know with all your might you're going to do the other things like love thy neighbor as thyself um you know not serve other gods before our true god um not uh fornicate not steal not kill you know, if we're focused on God and really seeking the heart of God for our lives. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would share that with you. And what it helped, what helped me is, is making a quiet place, having a quiet place to go to, um, a getaway place to go to, just to focus on God, to tune out the world, um, tune out the cares of the world, and just focus on the Lord in in meditating in his word, in in song, in just quiet space, you know, to pray with him. Um, and so that, you know, as we draw near to him, he draws near to us and he will reveal things to us that um, would he wouldn't otherwise, otherwise do that, right? Because we're too preoccupied in our thoughts or the enemies putting thoughts in our mind you know, or having us focus on things we shouldn't be focusing on. Uh, so, uh, so anyway, um, so if you can't find a getaway place to go, then, you know, if you have a place, and you should anyway, I guess, have a place in your home that you can go and just spend time alone and quiet with the Lord and um, to draw near to Him. But anyway, uh, just encouraging you all to do that. And... Um, when our when our life is spinning out of control, you know God will protect us if we keep focused on Him. <laughs> okay, well God bless you, and I just want to share that with you, and uh, I'll I'll color this and and draw it up, you know, and share it again on a short video with some scripture or something. All right, take care and God bless you. Okay, bye.